Flywheel was invented in the 1970s in California. It's sort of a spin-off from another um, sport called scent hurdling, where dogs basically go over jumps and pick up dumbbells. Balls are, are kind of a little more fun to pick up for dogs and, and it, it sort of took off from there because the dogs absolutely love going and getting their ball and coming back again. So when the dog starts, uh, the sensors will detect whether or not they're passing through the start line before the green light has actually gone on. And if, and if they do break that line beforehand, that's called a false start, and the judge will actually stop the race and bring it back again. It's four dogs traveling each 102 feet with running passes and they have to stop at a box, take a ball and come back again. So that it's a lot of speed. This is a relay race and the, this is a running pass. So all the passes are done at the start line. The owners have to judge how fast the dog in front of them is running and try to make that per perfect pass so their dogs are reaching the line at the same time the dog is coming back. And if the dog that is next in line happens to go early and break that line before the other dog got back, then you'll see a red light came on. So it'll, it'll also record the faults. So what I'm watching for out there is I'm watching for clean heats, I'm watching for the dogs to jump over all four jumps, press the box, catch the ball and carry it back over all four jumps in the start finish line. I'm also watching to make sure that um, the dogs, when they pass at the start finish line, that the dog going out does not cross the line before the dog coming back. If they do, it's considered a fault. We flag it um, and a red light comes on on the uh, on the lights up front there and that dog has to turn around and rerun at the end of the lineup again. So they essentially have to run five dogs at that point. Actually my folks got me into it when I was really young so I've been doing it ever since. At first I was actually just picking up balls at the end of the lane because I was just, just a kid, but yes, I became, I started handling dogs and uh, I still do today handle dogs and um, down, you know, a few years ago I decided to become a NAFA judge and uh, took over the RD position for the region. And, uh, I like the social aspect of it. I get to come here and, uh, you know, see people that I haven't seen in a long time, see some friends and race the dogs, the dogs love it. So it's, it's just fun all around. Each team is awarded points. But when the dogs are running, the individual dogs are also awarded points depending on how fast that team ran. So if the entire team runs under 32 seconds, then each dog that ran will get a single point. If the team is under 28 seconds, then each dog will get five points. And if they're under 24 seconds, then each dog will get 25 points. And those points are accumulated over the lifetime of the dog. Points that each dog earns go towards titles. So the first title that they would get is worth 20 points, and that's called a flyball dog. And then, you know, they can get, there are dogs in uh, North America, there's one from Alberta that has 100,000 points. Uh, but the, you know, the dog is now 10 years old, so it takes a long time to accumulate that. That's lots of tournaments, lots of running, but the dog's absolutely love it.
This is the uh, second largest uh, fly ball tournament in the Prairie Provinces this year. We have um, 36 teams here. Each team has six people, up to six dogs running on it, so that's six people there plus a box loader, so that's six to seven people per team. So lots of people come in, it's been really amazing. Absolutely loads of energy from the handlers. You might think the dogs are doing all of the work, but there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Teams can run with a minimum of four handlers to compete in the competition here, uh, but you can have up to six handlers, which will allow you to swap certain dogs in and out of different races. If a dog's getting tired, then you can, you can bring another dog in. Some dogs can pick it up within a day, two days. Other dogs, you can be uh, working with them for months. Uh, it just depends on, on the dog and also on the handler. It, it tends to be a bit easier if you have a handler that's been running a dog before and they know what they're doing. Originally, our team came from the United Kingdom and a number of us have moved over and have made our homes in Calgary, Alberta. And we've now uh, come across from Calgary for this competition. It's a long drive out here and you know we're very dedicated to, uh, to our dogs. It's, it's not restricted to a certain breed. Uh, I've seen anything from a uh, Border Collie to a uh, St. Bernard <laughs> running down the lane, which is a lot of fun to see. It's a very family-friendly sport and there's a lot of camaraderie, even though there's a lot of competition between the individual teams, there is a lot of, of um, relationships that build, a lot of friendships that build, and part of going to tournaments is also getting to hang out with your friends. Uh, it's the love of it that, for the dog and, and, and the companionship that you have between you and your dog. Uh, that makes this sport so worthwhile. <laughs>